Hello everybody, my name is Walter and I just watched um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, you know, I think this movie is much better than the first one. Uh, if you wanna watch like the 30 second condensed version, go to mindstardust.com slash Walter782. I think, uh, I'm not pretty sure. I, I'll put a link, I guess, I hope. Um, or if I'm too lazy, I won't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I definitely think this movie is uh, is much better than the first one because the jokes were, were much better. They were, you know, they were more, I think they were more natural and so on. But for the life of me, I think, you know, um, even though the first one was, you know, just, you know, goofy fun time, I think there was a legitimate uh, beginning, middle, and end. Uh, for this one, uh, there's not to say not a um, beginning, middle, and end, but the middle, I think, you know, was so much filler that uh, I, I don't even remember the middle, I think. Um, and part of the problem is there was two villains in this, kind of, which was uh, Valerie, I don't know, I, I keep forgetting her name. Uh, um, Ava, yes, Ava, the phasing woman, and also uh, Stephen Borsch, which is uh, you know the southern hick guy who wants the wants the the lab. And I I, I get what they're going with that, but uh, I just felt like that was too much on the play. You know, like just I think the problem with this movie, and I can see the problem. That's why I gave it seven out of ten. Um, but yeah, I I do. I do see the problems, but I, I still go, this is still a pretty good movie, uh, because I think the visuals do carry a lot of it, uh, the, the characteristics, the personality carries through with it, um, and, you know, the, the story is still a heartening story of, uh, you know, a parent and, uh, a child and what length would, uh, you know, a parent would go to, to help um, or to save his parenthood so to say or, or you know his relationship with his his daughter um, and I think that's what you know showed more here I, I don't know why it is about comedies I always prefer the sequels whether it be uh, comedic songs uh, you know just comedy on its own I always prefer the second one because it's it's more thought out it's more th that's why I, I prefer Deadpool 2 but also with Deadpool 2 I say it's not as good as the first one but I do still feel the second one is a bit better in in a lot of ways um, but uh, I do I do see a lot of people's arguments in saying that you know this is not a not a not a Marvel movie in that you know it doesn't really you know tie into any big details uh, until the end. Um, but yeah, I I do still I do still feel like this is a good movie. And you know, to those expecting answers from Infinity War, he was not in Infinity War. This is on the parallels of Infinity War, and you know when it conja uh, when it forms a conjecture then it is you know then it is tying into infinity war and that's what made me go oh shit this is this is what this is what we were expecting this is what it was building up to um i saw the end playing pretty early but i guess that was the second um uh teaser at the ending as well because i, I was you know i i knew about it as well like i understood it from the trailers itself like the and playing with the drums i thought i you know i thought it was a that was a post credit sequence but i think that's the second one um and i was just spoiled on that but i i don't really care about that the the only one i cared not being spoiled on was the first uh spoiler so i have the first uh end sequence sorry um i i love the credits uh, sequence i i thought that was really really uh, creative in the way they did it and the way they whole um, uh, you know build the sets and everything in the in the toy kind of way that that reminded me of the teaser from uh, Deadpool 2 where he's playing with the toy uh, and you know that was that was really cool that was really that was really good uh, Michael Pena and this was uh, 
you know, is his usual comic self. Uh, you know, he he does the fast uh, takes on you know what happened, you know, and all that. I like. I enjoy that comedy, uh, comedic stylings. I think um, I, I'm on a lot of uh, movies right now. I'm watching a lot of movies I have not watched, uh, and I'm not gonna do the whole Walter hasn't seen thing because I, it's kind of a gimmick now on YouTube. I like see a few other people who has done these things, and I and I and I would like to keep my own opinions about that because I I, I understand a lot of people's hype about those movies and I, I know where it's come from there, there has been some movies where I'm go, I go yeah that, that was really cool and I, I really really am on this hype train but there are some other movies where I'm like yeah I, I know why I missed it it's not it's not my genre and I, I as a film critic I know my genre I, I know what I'm into but some uh, you know sometimes I like to Put my guard down and say, "Hey, what the heck? You know, let's try. Let that's well, that's why I went into La La Land saying, you know, hey, what the heck? Let's let's just try it. Let's do it. Um, I have I noticed I have not been doing a lot of trailer reactions, and one of the reasons is because of copyright as well. Um, but I am going to try to go back into that. I, I'm not sure if I can do that anymore. Maybe I'm gonna do like, like I'm gonna bring back my afterthoughts as well. Um, with those trailer reactions so that you can watch me like analyze and shit like that uh, and uh, you know pad out my running time uh, so yeah I I know this is kind of like a jumble between my mind it's always like this uh, but the gist of the point is I think that ant -Man is is you know it's a funny thing you know it's a funny concept um, uh, the closest I can think of is Honey I Shrunk the Kids you know that kind of style where you know you shrink and then you're in a world where everything is bigger than you but you know this is much better in the way that you know the the things that are bigger or you know seems to be bigger because they were small initially are actually interacting with the world around you and I'm not saying that Honey I Shrunk the Kids was not interacting with it like it was interacting in its own world but I would have liked it to kind of explore more in other ways you know I, I'm I'm trying to say that I I just prefer this style more like it's cooler to see them shrink and expand and I and I know that Honey I Shrunk the Kids was uh, in its own ways testing that and that gave way to Ant-Man so I, I do appreciate that, that technology that led up to, to Ant-Man so um, yeah I, I, I still pretty much prefer this movie over um, Ant-Man uh, the first Ant-Man I mean um, and I'm just yeah I was just wondering like could he get out of there so that's why I asked my, my friend who, who I took uh, whom I took this movie to who's a comic book fan and who's uh, been on my show before um, Arif uh, you know he, I asked him like so could he get out of it and he was like yeah if he has the disc and I totally forgot about that see so I do I do forget about things I, I, I think it's you know the space of time uh, timing and shit um, so yeah um, movies I'm hyped I'm happy. I'm excited to be prepared to watch is Ahu and uh, Shazam. Um, I do. I do want to see. I do want to see. I, I've. I do want to see more stuff that explores on characteristics. So I'm. I'm interested. I'm interested to see Mr. Glass. Um, uh, I watched Unbreakable recently, and I had, I didn't watch that. Um, so I had watched Unbreakable, and that, that was a, kind of a, a noir kind of superhero kind of thing, which I didn't mind. Uh, I I liked it. So I I do think that um, superhero genres are kind of just getting overload. But also I I'm just kind of used to it right now. Uh, but also I, I do want to see more indie stuff and more and more and more stuff like you know uh, La La Land or uh, Shape of Water or uh, Where the Wild Things Are I remember watching that movie and I was so 
thrown off. But yeah, those kind of movies. Uh, also, you know, comedies like Police Academy. I just watched Police Academy, uh, and I noticed that we don't do this with these type of comedies anymore. We don't do really the slapsticky comedy anymore, and. You know that's so weird to me because at one point in time we did enjoy the the slapstick and I I, I still enjoy slapstick. And I think in this uh, Iron Man and, and the Wasp as well there was a few slapsticky scenes where I was like yeah that, that's really cool that's really good of them to bring the, that that back and of course you know they balance it out with the emotion and all that. Um, yeah, Michael Fishburne was really good in this. Um, you know, Michael Douglas. Uh, Paul Rudd was one of the writers, which I was like, yeah, I, I had heard about that, read about that. Um, so yeah, go go watch this movie if you're like me and haven't watched it. Um, and the only reason why I haven't watched it is because of my finals and all that. So uh, and the planning, timing, and shit. So I and you know I I wasn't really planning to watch this, but I was like, yeah, there's there isn't any good movies right about now. So. Anyway, that was about it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my review of this. Um, I, I don't I don't think this is gonna get any views, but I hope it does. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I would say go for IMAX if it's still on IMAX, but I doubt it. So yeah, IMAX 3D, man. I, I, I did wanna I did wanna say like um, one of the things I regret about this movie is IMAX 3D. I didn't go for IMAX 3D. I I would think it would be better in IMAX because the imagery is so trippy that you would want it to be in your face and and you experiencing experiencing it yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay subscribed. I'm I'm looking for more content. Looking for more stuff. Uh, I am lazy, but if you kick me at the buck, but enough, um, I'm gonna do work. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for staying with me. And please remember, if you want full reactions to my TV shows and all that, I am now going to move all of that to Daily Motion. So. Uh, I'm going to change the title because somebody was like, Are you sure this is a redirection? Uh, I'm going to say re reaction. So it's kind of like regarding the reaction I did. So, uh, yeah, it's not kind of like. I don't know. I I'm just trying to see how it fits and all that. So, I I do want you all to to know what my opinion of the. Maybe I'm going to put like analytical anal analysis of my reaction so that it won't be so jumbled up because I am going to put the analysis but also the, the redirect link to my full reaction to that episode. So yeah, um, I I love you guys. I, I miss this. I miss doing this. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't had the content, so I, I don't, when I don't have the content, I don't, I don't have the, the, the feeling to come on here and, and, you know, do, do something. But, you know, watching Ant-Man and, and really thinking about my point has made me want to come back and do this again. So, if you guys have suggestions, if you guys have anything you want me to do, please comment below. If you want Dickie to come back, I can write an episode but it has to be good it, it, it I, with Dicky, i always want perfection because he is he, he is a guy where i say yeah he is he is a character i want to be flushed out you know he's not just he's not just the one-off character i, I do want to keep him in the loop but it, he takes a lot of energy i need a lot of energy and i've lost a lot of energy because of my education because of my academics and all of that so Please, if you want him to come back, by all means, I need to write an episode. And let him come back slowly. Um, but yeah, if you if you guys want reactions, please tell me your favorite shows you want me to watch and critique on. Any movies you want me to critique on, please let me know down below. Uh, please, please interact with me. Take part in the conversation, all that good stuff. Ring the bell. For whatever more, more notifications because YouTube loves to subscribe people, so please remember to ring the bell like Quasimodo. Ring it! Uh, thank you guys, and uh, again, thank you guys so much. 
see you guys in the next video which probably hopefully hopefully tomorrow i'll, I'll put out another video so catch you then